Welcome to the channel, by the way, Saban Shopworks. All right, I'm doing my best to get on the truck. Still got, well, basically, I'm trying to set up a temporary paint booth. I can't get a shop or anywhere to get it in their schedule. So this is where we're at right now. So I'm hooking up, I'm trying to get a fan setup done, some filter setups done, and we'll do that. We are planning what we are going to do from now on. Every other week, we will do a big video on the truck because I wanna make some progress on this. I wanna get this thing done and I wanna get it out on the road. Causing problems, <laughs> hopefully not getting tickets. So bear with us, every other week we will do a big video on the truck and we are going to try to do a basic video on um, another project in between on each week. At the moment we are going to make sure that we do a good quality video every other week and hopefully we can make sure to get out another video on the odd weeks or the other ones or whatever. So yeah, glad to have you here for the ride. And so we wanna make sure that we show you that we appreciate your time and, uh, and tuning in on our channel. Well, I kinda got stuck having to do a redneck paint job on this thing or a backyard paint job, whatever you wanna call it. So with the shortage of work trucks, we kinda got stuck with the option of this and I kind of had to pay a lot to get this in the first place. So a lot of you guys know what we're talking about. Someone <clears throat> with the company before had used a paint remover to strip the stickers off this thing. Not exactly the way to go. Hot sun would have been a lot better than paint remover. So it went through, took out the paint, took everything, but left a lot of the adhesive. So we had to clean the adhesive off. So you can, as you can see here, pressure sprayer did a good job. Who the heck would think, let's go to that extent, to do paint remover and think, hey, yeah, it's not going to chemically attach and go through. Now, it left most of the adhesive. It left a lot of the adhesive. They got the vinyl off, but they took a lot of paint. So let's get this thing sanded down and get it ready. You know what's really weird? What's really weird about being on camera and doing all this? A lot of the things that I think in my head end up coming out of my mouth to you guys now. And it's really weird because I'm, I'm not used to expressing it verbally to everyone else. I'm good at talking though, apparently in person. I can, I can really talk. I, there's a joke I should come with a warning that I can talk. So you can't get away from me when, when you're in a conversation. So let's we'll see how it goes, if you can understand me. <laughs> Now I know a lot of you are gonna freak out, okay? I'm not an auto body guy. I need this as a work truck. It needs to be pretty from afar, not up close. It just needs to look nice and look clean, all right? So we're gonna do the best we can. We're going to use an industrial grade white paint. I know, I shouldn't. But right now, you know how hard vehicles are to come by? I'll tell you, I, I totally wanna to unmask this, but yeah, it's so not ready to be unmasked. So, well, here's hoping it'll turn out good. I think the hood is at the very least going to need some re-sanding and uh, a few more layers because you know, I don't know if you can see that reflection on there. Yeah, it looks like crap. We'll see uh, if I can put a few more layers on it and thicken it up and hide it a bit, so. Maybe I'll just put a big old logo flag across the hood so that we don't have to see it. It looks like a whole new truck in comparison to the other one. Well, I mean, you know, the uh, stickers. But it looks like I already rubbed the paint. Yep, no, oh, no, that's just a piece of plastic from the uh, pressure spraying, destroying the seal. So the hood is screwed, okay? Yeah, but. It is a usable truck now. It looks like crap up close, but it looks good from afar. Like I said before, it may not be great, but it's what I need for now. All right, so here it is. The ugly to not quite as ugly truck. That's what we'll call it. It's the, this will be our ugly duckling. 
Y'all have a good night. No, I'm not texting. I don't know why I'm saying it. It's just coming out that way. I'm Utah. We screw up everybody's accents. Have a good night. All right, basically what you're getting right now is me setting this thing up. I have not used this yet. It was in use when I got it. Let's hope it works. So I'm gonna set the plate in the back so that for my depth. All right, so I need an opening to fit this, but I also need an opening on the right, on the outside for the, for the fan. So I need an opening that is, and you're all gonna make fun of me, I'm gonna have to use this calculator. I need an opening that is well, measure this, let's see. Okay, so my outside opening is gonna be 20 and three quarters, okay? All right, now, so if I take, divide that and then cut it in half, then I'll be fine, so. So I have what, uh, five and a quarter, okay? So I got five and a quarter, and now I divide that by two, so I'm gonna be, what, two and five eighths? No, two and a half plus eighth of an inch. Yeah, two, two and five eighths. Yeah, two and five eighths. I really need to put like a whiteboard on this is what I need to do. I need to paint it so I can use it as a whiteboard. Let's set it down and do that if this thing works good. Okay, we're still in that debate of whether or not this thing's gonna work for me. That's like freaking awesome. Okay, now how many of you don't want a freaking brake press? Okay, I'm kind of excited. Finally get to use it. All right, this is just for fun. I admit. So, yeah, this is just me messing around. That was fun. That was, yeah, nothing special, but it was fun, I admit. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work now. So these are going to be a mount on the wall, and then we'll have the louver inside of that, and then the fan over top of it. If I did this right, we still gotta do some cleanup. If I did this right, we should have so it's a nice little box here. that that fits in and that the fan fits over top of. And it's late. I think it's, I'm gonna call it for the day. This is a weld project for tomorrow. So see you all in the morning and just like that, it's tomorrow. Okay, I didn't wanna bore you with the uh, grinding, literally the grinding task of, I know, pathetic dad jokes of grinding these things down and clean them up. I need Is it just me or is everybody kind of afraid of finding a black widow in their jacket one day out of their shop? Has it ever happened to any of you found a spider in? I was slipping my boot on once, and this is back at one of my old houses. Slipping a boot on and found a like a medium-sized mouse inside my boot. Crushed it enough that it, it, it was dying. 
Um, it was pretty gross, I will admit. It was, it was pretty nasty. It didn't like make a mess, but it was still the fact that you smashed a mouse inside your boot. And a boot was, a mouse was living in your boot. That was, ugh. But it worries me that I'm gonna find a black widow or something inside of one of these things. So I have to shake them out and I have to clean them off and check and make sure I don't have any on me. But let me know, have you guys ever had that happen? Has it ever, have you ever had a black widow or, or a cockroach or a bug or some sort of, I got flies here in my shop. Let me get some fly strips up. Have you ever had those things in your jackets and found them or in your boots or something? It's just like, ah, oh, ooh, it can't be just me. We'll get this installed, we'll finish getting the plastic in and do a couple other safety precautions. Then we're going to get that frame in here, we're going to get it prepped, and we're going to get that thing painted. I'm dead set on getting that thing painted because I want to get the drivetrain in it and get the body on it and finish mocking that stuff up and getting it ready. And I've got some other things I want to do to it, which I think you guys will really enjoy. So which means I need to get my rear and gear and get it done and show you guys what we're doing. Let's do it! <laughs> 